159. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequencer start. One forty. Launch enable. One thirty five. FTS armed. T minus ninety seconds. The launch vehicle, ground systems, payload, and eastern range are go for launch. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Chris Veltry, joining you for today's live coverage of USSF one oh six atop ULA's Vulcan rocket. At this time, the team is not working any issues, and we're proceeding towards liftoff at 8.56 p.m. Eastern Time. T-minus one minute. Rock report range status. Range green. Forty-five. Vulcan tanks at step three. Thirty-four. Thirty. EE four start box go. Twenty-eight. Verify ECS ruse for launch. Verify. Twenty. Twenty. Status check. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go SF-106. 15. 10. T-minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. We have ignition. 1. And... Liftoff of United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket carrying USSF-106 for the United States Space Force. Continuing ULA's soaring legacy in national security space launch, with the innovative Vulcan rocket. Thrust. Half mile in altitude. Complete our pitch and yaw program. Body rates turn to zero. P's gone to close loop control. And we've completed our roll program. Three miles in altitude, half mile downrange. And Mach 1, Vulcan supersonic. Vehicle's traveling at 1,500 miles per hour, right down the center of the range track. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Engine parameters continue to look good. Hydraulics good. Five miles downrange. Travel. You are hearing Daniel Brunson providing launch vehicle ascent data. Good indication of SRB burnout. Preparing for SRB jettison. B4 is continuing to burn nominally. Good indication of SRB separation. B4 is entering its first throttle bucket. And guidance enabled. We've been able to close up steering. At this point, in we play, just heard Vulcan's now half confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These four motors augmented the thrust of the main vehicle engines at liftoff, giving the Vulcan rocket an extra boost on its journey to geosynchronous orbit. 27 miles downrange, continues right down the center of the range track, traveling at 3,200 miles per hour. Engine continues to burn nominally, body rate's looking good. And we've got activation of the RCS pyro valves on the upper stage. Thirty-four miles in altitude, approaching four thousand miles per hour. Body rates continue to look as expected.
Passing 80 miles downrange, Vulcan continues right down the center of the range track. Passing through 45 miles in altitude, 107 miles downrange. Engine parameters continue to look healthy. We're now a quarter of our original liftoff weight, 169 miles downrange, 56 miles in altitude. Good activation of the upper stage PU motors. Vehicles traveling 8,400 miles per hour. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T plus 4 minutes and 30 seconds. We're about 30 seconds away from our next mission events, booster engine cutoff and booster separation, followed by start of the main engine and jettison of payload fairing. Let's return to Daniel Brunson. And we've completed boost phase chill down. Prop on LC. And good indication of shutdown. Good indication of center separation. We've got pre-start on H2 and O2. And good start on the upper stage engines. Two good all temps. Good indication of PLF jettison. Sent our PU set to open loop control. Body rate's looking good. This is Vulcan Mission Control at T, T plus 5 minutes and 45 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Daniel Brunson confirm the successful completion of the early milestones in today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. As the mission continues, let's take a look at the important work done by the Space Force's Space Systems Command.